Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the members panel in the latest WPLMS update. So the members panel is a panel where you can see all the members that are registered in your site and you can filter those members using the member type or the user tags functionality. Now currently user tags are simply tags which you can assign to members of your site and to assign a new member tag you have to click on plus and select a color and here you can see we created our new member tag now to apply the member tag you can select the members who will be using the member tag and you can add the tag so in one go you can add multiple tags so here you can see we added a tag to a member and when we click on the tag it shows the members which are associated with the member tag on the WP admin panel you will see the member tags appearing in the users member tag section and here you will be able to see all the member tags that are created by the administrator. So now the members panel also allows you to create members on your site. You can create a member. To create a member you have to click on the button create member and you can create the member individually or you can use the bulk upload. Now for the bulk upload you will see a download option which downloads the sample CSV file and when we click on it it downloads a sample CSV file which we can open. So here you will be able to write down the email, password, the user tags that are created, the member types, for example, product designers, technical and analysts, digital marketers. So as you already know, you can create these member types from the users member types functionality. And you can also assign these member types to individual users by editing those editing the users extended section and you can apply the member type manually as well and when we refresh this So when you select the member type, you will be able to see the member type available in the members panel. Then we have the name, all the profile fields that you have created in your, uh, in your user profiles. For example, in the WP admin users, <clears throat> in the WP admin users, and there is the profile fields. So all the profile fields that you have created for the users will show up here in the CSV. You can fill in all the details and then import this CSV, which is going to create the members with the, with the entire profile fields in one go. So let's just create few fields and see how this works. So note that for optional values, for the radio options, you have to select one of these values. All the options will be appended like this. And you have to select just one value. So now to create two different users, the only prim the primary criteria for distinction is the registered mail ID. So here I created two short profiles and we're going to take an export into the CSV. And now let's import this. So here it's going to process one by one. And so here you can see we have registered two new members. 
So one is Jack sample and the other one is John sample. This is the default profile image that I have set in WPLMS options and the tags are successfully applied. And you can view the profile of the member by using the eye icon, the information icon, and it shows the profile of the member. And you can edit, and it's going to load the information that you have filled. For example, name is here, the gender is here, and email, phone number, some address, position, bio, and the remaining fields are already here and you can set the remaining remaining fields and also also set a profile image for the user and here you can see our image appears so after edit, there is the activity, what all activity has been done by the user. So you can check the activities done by the user. And last we have the statistics, which shows the relevant statistics. So various uh, plugins and entities are contributing to these statistics. And this information is totally customizable. We can add more information here based on user requests. Moving forward, we'll be automating these the tags so that you can easily select a tag and then you can apply the bulk actions. For example, you want to send uh, messaging, send bulk message to the users. So this is a very easy way to manage a lot of requests and we'll be adding more bulk action capabilities here this is also totally customizable you can also we'll be sharing tips on how to add your own customizable action in the members panel you can search a member and you can change the display from list view to the grid view and you can also sort the members So that's it from WPLM's tutorials, thanks for watching.